the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May our Lord be with you. Call to my Lord Jesus, you are mighty God. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Son of God, Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Through the word that took our very flesh, the splendor of the Father, the Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May Almighty God grant that we always conform our wills to yours. And serve your majesty and sincerity of heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the letter to St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the freeborn woman. The son of the slave woman was born naturally, the son of the freeborn was through a promise. Now, this is an allegory. These women represent two covenants. One was from Mount Sinai, very children of slavery. This is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is freeborn, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice if you bear one who has born our children. Break forth and shout, you who are not mighty. For more numbers are the children of the deserted one than of her who has a husband. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are children not of the slave woman, but of the freeborn one. For freedom Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations of the Lord, above the heavens is his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God? Who looks upon the heavens and the earth below? He raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord Tells us where we well, leaving the controversy aside, I don't know enough about the controversy. 
but it tells us like where we came from, who, you know. And that's what the first reading is about. St. Paul writing to the Galatians says, well, who do we come from? The slave girl that Abraham had relations with, and that's Ishmael and all that. No, we are children of the Jews who came from the, the natural wife of the promise, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And so we, but we've moved beyond Judaism. We came from there, but we've gone beyond there. We're not going to go back to being Jews. We're Christians. That's, he was mad at the Galatians. He said, holy, what a fun we Galatians. He's calling him names and insulting them. We're Christians. We know who we are. We're not Jews anymore. Nothing against Judaism, but it wouldn't get you to the finish line. Moses didn't die on the cross for us. Jesus did. We're Christians and we're proud of it. But it's just funny that happened to fall on Columbus Day. It's not by design. It's just the way it fell. Do we know who we are? We're Catholic Christians. We take great pride in it. This is our faith centered around the Eucharist, our traditions, our practices. We better know who we are. The young people today don't know if they have a good sense of who and what we are. They don't come. They don't know the faith like they need to. They don't practice like they have to. We have to model who and what we are strongly in the hopes that the young people catch it. Let us stand, my friends, and we'll offer our petitions to Almighty God. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, may we choose to participate in all God's invitations, to live more fully with dedication and commitment, to respond to the needs of the world with faith. We praise you, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government leaders throughout the world, may they open their hearts to work for the service of the poor and promote justice, equality, and peace in all lands. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. And may the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hand, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, to your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, who you sent as Savior, Redeemer, incarnate by the Spirit, born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you, holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion. 
so break the bonds of death and make manifest his resurrection. So with the angels and saints we praise you as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are in your holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. We send you down in your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and the blood. Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion and took bread, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. But this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when some read it, he took a chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer the Lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, may God is worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the clergy. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who fall asleep in the hope of resurrection, all who die in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life. We praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with men, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, a glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and give us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace and eat, peace I give you. Not in our sins, but in the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace to the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share some sign of Christ.
Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our liturgy ends, we prepare to come forward for communion. Thanks. Thank to God. You, God.